Hello everyone, it's Frozzy back here today with an all new video and today it's a special video on showing you how you can solve the error that you're currently facing. So I recently faced this myself and I was wondering why is it so and I do think I'm returning after a really long period so this would be like the comeback. So the first thing that you need to do is to of course uh, have Epic Games Launcher installed and I always recommend people to have like the updated version of it. In case you're not then one preferable way to do it would be to uninstall Epic Games Launcher and then reinstall it by using a clean version. And why I ask you to do so because just in case things get hot fixed and sometimes there's a trouble with updating so it's much better to install a fresh new one you know it helps. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a shortcut of every game launcher which I probably think would be on desktop or in case you're not having you're having it somewhere pinned down below so it would be preferable that you have it on desktop. If you're not then simply uh, search for Epic Games Launcher and you're going to be finding it. Simply click on open file location and you only need to find wherever Epic Games Launcher is located. That would probably be at, in your syst program files inside Epic Games. Uh, whatever binary you have just simply click on send to desktop and that would create a new shortcut. Just simply right click on it, go to properties and here in the target uh, entropy, in this target uh, stuff or this target text box what you need to do is to go to the end, you can press the end key or just go to the end like that. Press a space, this all would be down below in the description and create a minus or a hyphen sign whatever you want to call it. Uh, it might be uh, like the, this one which you probably seen and simply type in HTTP that's for hypertext transfer protocol and set equals to the equals to sign and type in w-i-n-i-n-e-t that's half the work then just click on apply and okay make sure that there's a space or this just won't work in case you're not having a space you're gonna see things like this so it's better you focus on here and put a, put a space between the hyphen and the quotation mark and that's gonna be half the work then now the next thing that we want to do is to remove the binaries that are already saved or removed not the binaries but the connection properties saved by epic games launcher whatever it connected previously how you can do that is open up run it can be opened by pressing start plus r or you can simply type in run to get this in case in your windows 7 or windows 8 you simply right click on this charm and you get run so run the second thing we want to do is to type in percentage local app data. So this is quite new in case you're wondering why is we're doing this rather than simply typing in app data because when we type in app data we come in roaming then we have to go back and come into local. So local app data simply directly gives you from that particular specific going to. Next thing you want to do is search for E which is Epic Games Launcher come in here and delete this saved one it actually won't uh, trouble even even if you by mistake deleted the entire folder just just won't any cause cause any trouble because these two things are automatically created by epic games launcher whenever it starts for the very first time so we are only deleting saved one we're not deleting the intermediate you can delete the intermediate but it is not recommended by me i don't know what might do in case you have deleted it the second thing you want to do or the last thing you want to do is to simply go onto your properties and make sure in the compatibility you check this run as this program as an administrator. Uh, if you understand the 20, 80 rule or 40, 60 rule, I do think that 90 or 80 percent of the time this small thing solves the entire problem. Why? Because sometimes it's always like our PC blocks some actions for some particular softwares. So it is better to run them as an administrator. So after this, your Epic Games launcher is going to open up as gold, uh, good as gold. So what I would recommend here, sometimes I have faced it myself. That's why I'm telling you, I really don't know why this happens, but this happens all the time with me. So I use this way to log into it. Sometimes I enter my username and password and try to log into Epic Games launcher. And for some reason it gets stuck. And by stuck, I mean stuck forever. It just never opens up. Sometimes it also says like connection is slow, something like that. But I know that it can indeed open up Epic Games Launcher because I have downloaded the entire Unreal Engine through it. Here's how I do it in case if you are facing the same trouble. Rather than directly signing in using the username and email, I use Google to sign in. So how this is going to go? You're going to open up Google. So if you, you need not to go back in there. If you're going to just open up Google. Here you're going to do the logging in process. So I'm going to log in with my mail. 
Uh, it might be blurred, but never, don't worry. You just need to log in with your mail. When you're into it, it's gonna say it's done. Just simply click continue. I'm gonna click continue. And it says you can close this window. So simply close this window and it's gonna say sign in, redirecting. And once it says your username, it means you're logged in. It won't cause any further trouble. So this is all useless. So we're in here and it opens up perfectly. Now you can go on, install your games and all the stuff. And there you have it. There you have the entire Epic Games launcher being showing up perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share for Frosty's back on the game. I hope you see you again.